So this is a video showing uh, a front intake versus a rear intake. So this is a brand new 1,500-gallon uh, engine tanker uh, KME out of Pike Road, Alabama. And they have a 6-inch rear intake. So we know on front intakes, right, the, uh, the trick to that front intake, while it's trimmed out at 6, it has to reduce down to deal with that axle. So you look over here, this one gets reduced down. It might be a little bit hard to see, but you can see that uh, steel woven line that comes through, they're kind of flexible. Well, that's got to come in, and of course that's not six inches, and that comes to your pump. And so in a drafting scenario, then that is your restriction there. So over here, this rig, and uh, this is very important if you want to have a good high flow rear intake. So that is specced out at six inch pipe. You could just ask for a six inch rear intake and the manufacturer may give you five inch pipe with the six inch adapter. But if we look at this, this, this is six inch pipe. Now it's trimmed out to five inch storts because that's their supply line. But you can take that off and hook up six inch hard sleeve and then that six inch pipe runs the whole way and it runs into the uh, large intake port on this hail pump so there it is right there has a primer up on top has a control valve here so it's a uh, has a uh, butterfly style control valve and then it drops right down into the top of this hail pump. So that's a really high flow. It only has two turns in it, six inch pipe the whole way. So that rear intake is going to do really well under drafting conditions uh, as well as under pressurized. So rear intakes have that capability, often can have a fairly straight shot to the pump, whereas a front intake just rarely ever has a straight shot. Got to go around the axle. So uh, good design here. We've not flow tested this thing, but uh, that would be something for them to try at their annual pump test to see what they can do out of that rear intake.